I did pick up a notice recently. It, some, it said, Henchman Wanted. Would you like to read this notice? Ah, uh, sure. Greetings. Are you in need of some cats? Oh, that's not a good voice. Are you incapable of reading this note? Do you have at least one working limb? Then you may be just what I need. Wow, talk about a low bar. My name is Dr. Disaster. That name sounds familiar. I am a scientist who seeks to change the world. But due to the political climate of the Mojave, and also my inability to defend myself because all of my special points are in intelligence and everything else is at (laughs) zero, I'm in need of an able-bodied henchman to do my dirty work for me. You will be played, rest assured. I mean, paid. I didn't say played, I won't play you for the sucker. You'll be paid. In death. Anyway, on this holotape are directions to my secret underground lab, which I guess isn't really a secret, now that I told you where it is. Come find me and give me the secret password written at the bottom of the note. Just remember to be prepared. The way to my lab may be inhabited by a few undesirables. Consider it your first test. Until then, this is your future employer wishing you luck on finding me, Dr. Disaster. P.S. The secret password is, I am having your B tonight. Whisper it to me and I'll know that you're legit. How do you feel about strange shacks? All things considered, this is... Ping pong table! This is a very nicely furnished shack. I would be... Somewhat okay with living in this strange shack. Most shacks are even worse than this, but... I, wait, are these floors varnished? Wow. Well, they actually are. Holy crap. Uh, One chair, some file cabinets, a crate, more file cabinets, no bathroom. <laughs> Everything you could ever want. Oh, wait, they do have a, a poop hatch. No, this is a hatch to Boar's bunker. Well, maybe he poops down there. You don't know. Ooh, creepy and dark. Already got me on a good start here. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, this looks a lot like the sink. Yeah, I think might be a similar interior decorator. Mmm, yeah, not terribly far off from the dome in Old World Blues. Yeah, he's got some robots that are very much broken. Dr. Disaster, I presume? Yes, it is I, Dr. Disaster. The envy of scientific minds all across the wasteland. Ah, 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 ah. To what do I owe the pleasure of this meeting? The pleasure is mine. I'm having your bitch tonight. My what? What are you... Oh, you're here for the job offer. Yes. Well, you seem able enough. Hopefully, you are ready to get right to work. I guess. Your first and only job as my henchman is to help get this mass relay up and working so that I may find the secret location of Big Mountain. Oh, okay. Um, This secret pre-war facility has eluded me for far too long. I seek to discover it and plunder its treasure of lost technologies. (laughs) 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 Unfortunately, uh, the mass relay doesn't work right now. It needs parts to repair. Fortunately, that's where you come in handy. We could tell him exactly where the big empty is, but I don't know if I want to give him that information. I I could also tell him we stole all the technology from the big empty, but I don't want to dampen his positive demeanor. Why is, I'm having your B tonight, the secret phrase? (laughs) Developer inside joke. (laughs) You had to be there. (laughs) Oh, okay. There seem to be a lot of dead robots lying around. Why? Yes. There are. <laughs> okay, thank you. That answered my question. <laughs> Why do you have so many dead robots? Where else am I going to scavenge valuable robot parts? But of course, I've gone through all these drones and have yet to find the circuitry I need. Oh! <laughs> Must be some kind of special circuitry. Ooh! Howling, yes. Ooh! Why? Ooh! This is fun. Try it. No. 
Come on. No. Come on, just once. You are obnoxious. Just do it once. I'm talking to Dr. Disaster. You'll feel better. He commands respect. You'll feel better. Just try it just once. I'm gonna fire a couple of scorpions in this room if you don't hurry up. Fine. This is a pretty big room. Scorpions getting loaded in my launcher. What are you doing here? This is the Disaster Center. My lab of operations where I commit horrible acts of immorality <laughs> in the name of science. <laughs> <laughs> is it like some kind of pre-war bunker or it looks familiar or pre pre-war bunker Ugh. it was originally known as area 101 one of the many research facilities located all across the states before the war okay but i swear that when i discovered it it was already abandoned i've just Reappropriate it for my own nefarious purposes. Nuclear war already happened. I don't care. You can just take it. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Well, of course. I'd love to talk in great lengths about me. I'll start from the beginning. I was born in Vault 16, very far away. It was full with nothing but smart people. Unfortunately, I had to leave because it was also full of pretentious assholes. When I was 16, I committed my first murder. Ooh, what joy. He was a raider who demanded my caps. Instead of caps, I gave him my blade. Ah, ah. Oh, you used blades, did you? All right. When I was 23, I took a drug called Neptune. And now I can see past the fourth wall. Oh. oh. All became clear at that moment. I finally had purpose. <laughs> All right. I can see everything. That's how I know exactly where you should go without having never explored this facility myself. Hmm. Ah. Unfortunately, I still don't know where the big empty is. So I still need help with that. Oh, not as clairvoyant as you thought. But for 30 years, I have sought to uncover the mysteries of this world. I have also made plans to take over the moon! <laughs> <laughs> the moon is a lofty goal. <laughs> but that's just a side project of mine. Where was I again? I don't know. Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. What else did you want to talk about? What do you want me to do first? You must go into the Milken Medical Center and retrieve for me a quantum compensator. That is your first mission. <laughs> you laugh a lot. <laughs> of course. Everyone needs a quantum compensator. Uh, what now? It's a scientific thingy that does stuff you probably won't understand. It'll have a quest marker, I assure you. Okay, as long as it has a quest marker. Once you find it, return it to me, and we can continue with my beautiful plan. Yes! Ah, 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 ah! We heard you tapping the mic there. Why do you laugh so much? It's because I'm thinking of really funny jokes, <laughs> but I can't tell you them because they're also really dirty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 well, let's go get the thingy. Yes, leave me to my studies. There is so much to do and so little time to do it. Now tell me about it. So we're exploring inside of his base? Yes! It's full of trauma suits! Oh, look, okay. Hey, look, we got some of your brethren, Skeleton Man! Yes, Skeleton, what do you think of this? There can be only one! Uh, okay, why did Wild Awake Slam just trigger? Is it all these pencils? Oh, that's kind of weird, but... Is it this box? Mm, I don't know. Is it the fact that we have a skeleton following us? Well, that's pretty standard, though. I took some thin red paste. I fell over randomly. I found an apple. I just collapsed on the floor for no reason. Did you? Mm, More nothing. Oh boy. Ah, a telephone floating because he just kind of deleted assets from in here. Oh, and forgot to delete the telephone. That's the wacky part, I see. Ooh. Magical telephone. That was definitely a good use of perk. <laughs> Who pooped out the new Coca-Cola victory? Who knows? I pooped it out after I ate. Ooh, it's kind of ominous. Ooh. Open the door. Ah! <laughs> oh, and I found the scientific thingy. It's literally a scientific thingy. Yes, it says scientific thingy. All right, I hope I don't accidentally drop it. Oh, no! 
Oh no, it's irreplaceable. We'll have to bring a coffee mug and tell him it's the scientific right, thingy. Well, I don't think he'll know the difference. No, he won't know the difference. We'll just bring this and tell him. Henchmen, you return. Yes. Do you have any good news? I have this coffee cup that definitely is a scientific thingy. Yes. Now that you have the device, we can continue on. Next, I will need rare circuitry that can only be found in one place in this facility. You will find some in the body of the head sentry bot located in Rutherford Repairs. Go, my minion! Kill it and bring me its valuable insides. Ah! Yes, master, we shall do this thing for you! Where can I find the rare security circuitry? Rutherford Repairs! Kill the sentry bot and return to me with its insides. Yes! Ah, ah, ah! Yes, master! I will go! Igor, raise the clock tower! Yes, maester! I will raise the clock tower! Ready to die for your country, you commie son of a bitch? I think I found a couple of robots! Oh, there's robots? <laughs> R3GI? Oh, he had an angry face! No, he's got an angry face! Kill him! Matt! <laughs> Be advised, hostiles in area. Are you the head security on? Wait, hang on, hang on, let me... Dragon's Breath, Flaches, pul Pulse Slug! And done and done. All right, we have obtained the rare circuitry. Some of it's sparking still, that's how you know it's fresh. Hmm, who is that? I don't know. Looks fancy though. Oh, did one of these robots have a girlfriend? Is that Sophia Loren? We killed these robots, but one of them had a girlfriend. You should feel bad now, you've made them a widow. Unless they weren't married, in which case, you've made her a free woman again, so we should go find her and hit on her? Death comes for us all. Henchmen, you return! Do you have any good news? We always do! I have this thing. Yes, we are getting somewhere. You have done well, my henchmen. Here, have a face full of caps. <laughs> now you must go to Thompson Transmissions and find me a map of Big Mountain. That's right! It should be in the safe room at the end. Uh, all right. Okay, then. I need the map so that once I get to Big Mountain, I will know exactly where to go first. Ooh, the excitement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just watch out. You may encounter another scientist. Do not fear, for he is a huge wimp. <laughs> but you never know. Sometimes wimps have machine guns. Mm. Once you find the map, bring it to me. Then we will go to the final step. <laughs> ah, 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 All right. Ah, 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 I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so, uh, it's wonderful weather we're having. <laughs> Oh, what? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I was too busy thinking about pussy. What were you saying? <laughs> At least you can't honest. blindside us with that! <laughs> God, crank it from 3 to 11 in a millisecond! Oh, God. Where can I find the map? Thompson Transmissions. I gave you the key, didn't I? The door should be at the other end of the boar's bunker. Hey, Mike, Robo Scorpion! Baton! Why are you using a baton? Because everyone knows batons defeat scorpions in one hit! Do they now? Mm hmm. Hey, how's it going? Ah, ah! <laughs> you scared me so hard I fell down. <laughs> Don't do that again. Dr. Casserole? <laughs> a dog! Hey! Wait, is the look, dog, it's a little puppy! Is the dog Casserole? No, the dog's name is Cersei. Hey! Nice reference. I don't get it. What are you doing here? Y you can't come in here. This is my private lab. I, I, I guess it's okay. Just don't break anything or, or hurt me. De definitely don't do that. We've already done the former. Give us the map and let us through the door and we'll kill you. That door? Well, my my terminal can let you get inside, but but I, I don't know if I can trust you with my terminal.
what if we charmed you with charisma or speech options? Yeah, come on, man. You can trust me. Well, I mean, I guess I could let you use it, but first you'll have to do something for me, okay? Ugh. Then I can trust you with my terminal. For my latest experiment in biochemistry, I'll need a um, Nuka-Cola victory. If you can bring me one, then I know I, I, I can trust you. What a coinkydink! I happen to have one! The one that you picked out of the toilet? Go find one and bring it back, please. There's no rush. I just, you know, think it would be nice to have one. We already have some toilet soda for you! Yeah, I have one right here! It's delicious! We assume. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's... That's a new Coca-Cola victory, <laughs> alright? Well, I guess I should give you the password now. Yeah! You can g go on my t t terminal now. Thank you! J j just don't snoop around. There is still very private info on there. Mm. Why don't you tell me about yourself first? Me? You want to talk about me? Well, I guess I could um, start from the most interesting part of my life. You like sandals, I'm sure. I used to work for a place called the Institute. Ever heard of it? I had to escape, though, because it was really crowded, and I don't like crowds. I escaped to the Mojave, but now I live in constant fear of being found by Institute coursers and dragged back home. Oh, no. No good. <laughs> I can see why you're a little jumpy, then. Yeah, that's probably the most interesting thing about me, actually. Uh, oh, wait, no, it, it's not. One time I shot a man just to uh, watch him die. Oh? But uh, I got I got distracted, and I, I looked away, and I missed it. Oh, bother. <laughs> You'll have other opportunities. But, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still young. I, I'm sure I'll have more interesting stories in the future. Maybe. As long as you stay down here, staying on your terminal every day, surely something exciting will happen to you. Yeah. You won't just waste your life. By the way, I'm, uh, I'm working with Dr. Disaster. What do you know about him? As long as he stays on his side of the bunker and doesn't bother me, I guess I can stand him, for now at least. What's on your terminal, Dr. Pedophile? Dear diary, I went outside and saw a robot scorpion. I literally threw up and it ran back into, uh, into my lab. I think it must be a security bot or something, some kind. But now I know that I'm never leaving. Maybe I should create my own robot to protect me. But I'm allergic to robots. What do I do? He pretty much put down every bit of neuroticism he ever suffered in this journal. I found a comic book under a pile of junk in the corner. It's really neat, but super dirty, too. Every time... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a Rocco's Modern Life reference. Every time I turn the page, you have to wash your hands. Turn the page, wash your hands. Turn the page, wash your hands. Turn the page, wash your hands. <laughs> Dear Diary, I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. <laughs> hey, Bride, dear diary, I'm scared. <laughs> July 14th, dear diary, I could really go for a chocolate bar right now. So Maniac's just moving in across the bunker. Dr. Disaster, I think his name is. I know because he built an iBot to fly over here and give me a gift basket full of assorted cheeses. But then the iBot exploded, <laughs> literally killing me. So I don't know if he wants to be my friend or if he's trying to murder me or both. I'm still very cautious of him. Uh, there's a Saturnite Fist, a Corrosive Glut, a map of the Big Empty. There we go. I wonder if Dr. Disaster has been murdered in our absence. Probably not, because we see him in the sequel. Henchmen, you return! We have a map of the Big Mountain for you. Aha! You've done it, my boy slash girl. <laughs> we are one step closer. Now for the final step. The power! Aha! Power, you say? That's right! The transceiver is finished! But we don't have enough power to run it. But with one flick of a switch, we'll be... <laughs> Energized! Alright! Uh. Just head to Avogadro Auxiliary Power, find the generator room, flip the switch, and return to me. It's just that simple! Now go! Oh, here's where all the dead bodies came from. Oh, the coffins. Oh, this one had vodka in it. When I die, bury me with my booze. 
Oh, I think we're going the right way now. There's yeah, enemies. Yeah, all right. Just shoot our way through these guys. Get that guy without pants on. He was the smartest of them all. Baseball. I'm looking for avocado. Hello. <laughs> Quite a lot of oh, oh, wow. Baseball. Final loss note. Which do you like better, the psionic beam or the laser? Uh, I'll take the laser, please. Thank you. I found a buffalo gourd seed jammed in between two things. <laughs> I guess something's got to be jury rigged. I guess the idea behind this is to keep the top tier officials alive so they can outlast the war. But let me say that there is no way in hell you will ever get me inside one of those things. As fun as mechanical immortality sounds on paper, there's no way I'm spending eternity as, as a brain in a floating glass orb. I will not agree to this. You'd have to force me to do this, and even then I'd fight you the whole time, screaming like a little girl, and going, Eee, no, no, you can't do this to me! But knowing my staff, I'm sure they would never do something as immoral as kill their employee and extract his brain to be placed inside a robot's body just because it's in their standard operating procedures. Hopefully this November I can meet you to discuss a separate, less gruesome alternative to this extreme protocol. Thank you for your time, Chairman Faraday. We did kill a monitor iBot on the way in here. Yeah, they put him in here. <laughs> oh, here it is. Found it. This doesn't seem right. I don't remember going through a cave. I feel like you're right. Uh, we, we can still explore it, though. It might have some useful things. We could be rewarded for being explorers. Or we could be brutally punished. You may have thought that Dr. Disaster and Dr. Casserole were the only two scientists in Area 101, but you'd be wrong. That's right, it is I, Dr. Ultraviolet. This is my lab, and you may not be able to see it, but I'm in it with you. I have perfected the Stealth Boy Mark X, and now I am completely invisible, and you can pass right through me, and you won't even feel it. I am in the room right now, and you have no idea. I'm very quietly staring at you, trying not to laugh. I'm taking pictures with my equally invisible camera. <laughs> there is nothing you can do about it. Already, I am uploading all these pictures to shady websites online. If you don't want any more pictures of yourself taken, I suggest you leave, get out of my lab, have a nice day, oh, Dr. Ultraviolet. Well, we, we're always having to make a new friend, Dr. Ultraviolet, uh, and Zach is firing a grenade. Death to Dr. Ultraviolet! You return! Do you have any good news? Yes, the power is back on. Yes. Yes. Yes! We have done it! My evil plans are now complete! Big Mountain is mine! <laughs> well, not yet. <laughs> might, be, <laughs> might be premature there. <laughs> He's uh, going on for a while. But first, I, uh, I've got other business to attend to. Okay. You know, gotta get groceries and then, uh, uh meet a friend in Vegas. Uh, uh what? Anyway, thanks for your help, henchman. I could have absolutely done it without your help, but I still appreciate you nonetheless. <laughs> it's nice to feel appreciated. As a reward, I will give you this comically large bag of caps, as well as this devastating super weapon. <laughs> I like both of those things. Kill the children with it. <laughs> I will. It's just a 9mm pistol. That's it? It's not just any 9mm. This gun is especially designed to fire rapid bolts of energy. How? Wait for it. Devastating! Ah, ah, ah! I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Now, leave me to my studies. For when the time is right, I will invade Big Mountain. And it will be... Disastrous? A disaster! Yeah. Ah, ah, I said it! Ah, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your joke. Ah, 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 you you kind of did. Yeah, we paused too long. So you're a mad scientist, but have you thought about creating something crazy? I would say he's less of a mad scientist and more of a mad engineer, because he creates things. If he was a scientist, he'd be researching things. Well, of course. I've made plenty of disturbing abominations. Too many to count! But I'll tell you just a few for now. One time, I created a fridge that doubles as a fallout shelter. So you can hide in it to survive a <laughs> nuclear detonation. Uh, <laughs> what an ingenious thing. I also turned thing. my microwave into a time machine. <laughs> That's right. I could send Pip-Boy notes back in time to myself. Convenient, huh? 
Yeah, quite a time saver. I also designed a robot clone of myself that can break dance. <laughs> <laughs> Get his priorities in order. I kind of want to see uh, that. That's that's about all I can do, really. Okay. Still pretty cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, perhaps my most menacing invention is a faucet that doesn't turn off all the humanity. You disgust me. (laughs) That's just a broken water pipe. (laughs) Uh, 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 uh. Yep. That faucet one kind of sounded menacing. It's a broken pipe, and it's not menacing. I don't know. C- can you imagine the water bill? Pretty devastating. I didn't mention the tunnelers or the chameleon death claws I designed myself, uh, but I figured those weren't as interesting, so... The... It's cool. It's, it's good that you invented those. Good job. What's this thing do, anyway? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> not a bad gun. What happens if I... Jeez, 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 jeez!